You ready, Kevin? <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, looking at maybe doing another lesson or two from this book, and then we'll probably, I think, I'll we'll keep this kind of going until we uh, get to in November. So when we come back in January, we'll start with new material then. But um, you'll find that these get a little bit more repetitive as we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, this lesson, Kaf uh, Kuig, lesson five, and we're on Lachana Chachain, page one. And Igfila Awadia is returning home. Igfila Awadia. Igfila Awadia. Okay. So uh, the word fill means return. Fill. And Igfila is returning. Okay. Um, and Awadia is home. So like uh, if you know the expression Slan Awadia is goodbye to someone as they're going home. Okay, so the awadia gives the idea you're in, moving towards your house. Okay? All right, um, so number one says, Hur nabuchli hun bohar awadia and shen. Okay, and the word for boy was an bohar. And the word for boys, uh, the boys, nabuchli. Okay, so the E ending is really common for more than one. Okay? Um, the word for the road, Anbohar. Anbohar. And of the road is Anwohar. Anwohar. Okay. Um, so, um, go down to number C there. The word for work is Anobar. Anobar. And of the work, Nahebra. Okay, and that's pronounced, that word is pronounced all sorts of different ways in Ireland. Um, so, you hear Nahebra, Nahebra, okay. Um, the word hun means uh, sort of the idea of being towards, do, towards doing something or for a reason, okay? Um, I think when we started off this story, we had our kids going off to store in order to buy something, and we used the word hun to say in order to, okay? Um, in this case, it's more of the idea, um, it's more the idea of towards something, okay? It's whatever it is, you use fun with whatever it is you're headed off to do, or whatever it is you're doing, setting out to do. Um, and it uses the form of the word called the genitive, okay? And you're going to be seeing these a lot, <laughs> okay? Um, so, the genitive is the word that we use when we say of something, okay? So, the word uh, bolher we have is road. Okay, or unbohar the road, and of the road is unwohar. Okay, so we have on there, unwohar. Two things happen. We have shevu here, so this is an H, and we have a I at the end of the word. Okay, and that means of the road. So, for example, uh, you would use that in a more straightforward manner. For example, if you say. Pave and Walker would be the side of the road. So the word pave means side. Pave and Walker, the side of the road. Okay? So really we say side of the road in, in Irish. You don't, you don't have two thes in English. Okay? But you say side of the road, and that means the side of the road. Pave and Walker. Okay? And so this, this thing that we call a genitive is, is usually shows up as the word of in English. Okay, it's like when we have a cup of lemonade, coupon limonaija, limonaija, this lemonade, limonaija of lemonade. Bohur is road, bohur, or unbohur the road, and walker of the road. Okay? And, um, so you might, uh, the, the other one we had was an over and nahaibra. Okay. And you can use this, for example, to mean of the work. So if you want to say, um, Tus Nahaibra would be the beginning of the work. Tus is beginning. Tus Nahaibra, beginning of the work. Okay. So it's 
usually this thing that we call the anion means O. Okay? And the reason I put two words here is um, these words do kind of different things here, and, and the reason is that one of them is masculine and one's feminine. Okay? And this masculine and feminine thing is going to come up a lot in Irish. So, one of the things when you have a masculine word after un, it tends not to do anything. Okay? Uh, the only thing you do is stick keys in front of them, so like you have a tissue over water. Okay. Um, feminine words you don't put keys on, so you have an over, you don't say an tober, you say an over. Okay. So this is a feminine word. Um, masculine words, if you want to make the genitive, just say of the, you, put, you use the word on, but the word changes. You stick an H on it, and you, stick it, and you make a, put an I at the end, or make it slender at the end. Okay, and sometimes they do other things too, okay? But the important thing here is that you have this and the H. That's the thing that's gonna be pretty consistent for masculine ones, okay? And we'll look at some more examples in a second. Feminine ones, you use the word na, okay? And it sticks, H is on vowels and doesn't really change the beginnings of other words, okay? So we'll look at a couple um, examples here, okay? And um, again, I'm not really going to push you to try to learn all those situations to use different grammatical things, but I do want to explain them because they show up, and at least if you have a word to put with it, what it's doing, then you can maybe, when you see it, okay, oh, that's one of those. Okay? Um, so let's look at another masculine word, which is cup. So you say, I'm coupon. Okay? And coupon is the cup. Um, of the cup is an coupon. Okay? So it does pretty much the same thing that Bohr does. You stick an H here, and you put an I here, an coupon. Okay? It's a masculine word. Cup is masculine. Okay? Um, so an coupon is masculine? An coupon is masculine. But what about the That's still masculine. Still, the word cup itself in Irish is masculine. Okay? Bohar is what? Bohar is uh, road and it's also masculine. It's masculine. Yeah. Okay. And over is feminine? Yeah. Okay, and, and actually if you just see this by itself, or this by itself, the way you would know those are masculine is that nothing happens to the C here, and nothing happens to the B. When you just say the cup, or the road, it, it, the consonant at the beginning doesn't change. And we'll look at, a, at another one in a second that does change, okay? So, and coupon the cup, and coupon of the cup. So if you wanted to say, um, you want to say bar, bar and coupon would be the top of the cup. Bar is top, bar and coupon, the top of the cup. Okay, so these are what you use when you want to say of the something. Okay? So let's do another masculine one that you may have seen. And board. Which is the table. table. Okay. So how do you think how do you think the genitive of the table would be? Word. B H. Okay, it'd be un word. Okay, un word. Okay. Um, and so if you want to say the top of the table would be bar and word. Okay. All right. So um, if we had some other words, I would do similar things. Okay, and that's called the genitive. Primarily means of, so of the table. What, what you have to do to do the genitive is you have to change the word <laughs> structure around a little bit. And when you have on with a masculine one, it does that. Okay, it sticks the h on. Now, is that what you wanted of that? Okay. Uh huh. Her is that went? Her is put. Me yeah, we'll get. Work. I'll explain that we haven't got there yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 